individuals can make on an individual basis. So with respect to violence, we're looking for, for example, brandishing a weapon as something that would, would be prohibited under our ad content guidelines, and then training our systems and using artificial intelligence to make sure that any ad that gets, that gets run through this system that has a weapon being brandished gets at least surfaced for manual review, if not uh, just banned outright. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Chairman yields back. Dr. Winstrup, five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, I'm sure as you uh, began your businesses and they grew, it was the idea of bringing people together and not tearing people apart, as I'm sure the Wright brothers never intended the airplane to be used as a weapon of mass destruction. But that's what we're faced with in this world today, and so we do have to deal with it. And it's really more than just here in the United States that we have a problem with Russia media, Russia meddling uh, internationally. People that have written things against the Soviet Union and Russia have been attacked act on social media and their lives destroyed through these through processes. So it's not just here in the States. But I do want to bring up something that's some in the same vein, but not exactly on the political realm, where it's been brought to my attention by constituents of images of innocent people being used to create a false persona and used in scams like on dating sites and they back themselves up by check me out on Facebook and and these these are fake and sometimes they use the person's name sometimes it's just their their image and uh, uh, they're pretending to be someone else and I know you're working hard on these types of things but that's not the reputation you want your businesses to be and, and I'm particularly talking about Facebook so if you could but maybe bring me up to speed on what you're doing on that front as well because I'm afraid what was probably intended to be for good use has been turned into a tool for nefarious behavior in many fronts not just political thank you for the question congressman when I said earlier today that we have a responsibility to address something like foreign interference on the platform, we view that responsibility broadly to prevent our platform from being abu uh, used for abuse of any kind. And certainly the sorts of safety considerations that uh, you've identified are paramount. So any behavior that is uh, intended to put people at risk is a concern of ours and we have teams addressing it. On child safety, in particular, we have robust teams that investigate reports of child safety, certainly, and that are also looking at behavior on the platform that is, is consistent with troubling behavior to warrant investigation. And whenever we see anything that looks like it may be leading to real-world harm, we reach out to law enforcement and make sure that people's physical safety is secured. And the last thing I'll mention is here again, as I alluded to earlier, we have a good track record of sharing information among the industry. No one in this, no one in this industry wants to see their platforms used to put somebody in danger. And we are, have a successful record of sharing information, sharing threat information, and working with law enforcement effectively. And that is a, a good construct, I think, for how we think about the foreign interference threat going forward. With law enforcement, is that a two-way street? Are they coming to you saying, look out for this type of thing or this type of image or this name or whatever the case may be? Is this a two-way street that's, that's uh, getting more robust, I would imagine? Or, or is it one way you're contact, contacting them? How does that work? In many instances, it's been a two-way street. So uh, take, for example, our work countering violent extremism and trying to keep terrorist content off the platform. Uh, we're able to provide information and expertise about what we're seeing, and, we're and, and the government has done an effective job of letting us know what they're seeing and giving us threat signals. Um, I think with respect to nation state actors, uh, we've had uh, historically an effective uh, dialogue or uh, threat sharing information with respect to traditional cybersecurity actors. Um, and we're hopeful going forward that with respect to this disinformation activity, uh, we'll establish the same sort of uh, dialogue. It seems to me if someone's creating a Facebook page uh, out of Asia, and you look on the Facebook page and they're creating a person that says they live in Montana, 
there should be a red flag, and I'm just curious if you have ways of catching that automatically, or do you have to comb through each one? Most of the accounts, most fake accounts, um, are caught automatically. Uh, many millions of them. Our systems catch most of them automatically. Um, they are, they generally do come from particular regions of the world, um, and they are generally uh, financially motivated. Um, what makes this, and, and, and so that, that, those systems have been in development for some time and they're, they're effective, we continually have to improve them. What makes this threat so insidious is that these were carefully constructed profiles that were, I think, maintained and curated to appear very authentic, including disguising in most cases, not all, but in most cases, their geographic origin. It, in, it is um, very uh, useful for us as we think about how to detect this going forward, but we do believe we need to up our game, and we're working on it. Jim, as time has expired. Mr. Quigley, five minutes. <clears throat> Let's look at unpaid content for a second. Uh, Sometimes these fake accounts are pulled down, but the fake story takes the false claims of widespread voter fraud, for example, generated by these accounts, have spread thousands of thousands of times, often picked up by legitimate news accounts. What do you do to flag that? What do you sense is your responsibility? And before any of you answer, let me just note this, that if we're asking is, are we still in this situation? <clears throat> As of just 